Hey guys, I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be talking about Godzilla Kong The New Empire. Now, when it comes to the Godzilla and Kong movies, it's pretty much on off for me when it comes to the franchise. There's pretty much a lot of movies that you could pretty much uh, binge on. So I can't really recall so many of them that I've watched over the years. But I know a lot of people very recently were really sort of hyped and impressed with uh, Godzilla Minus One. Now, I haven't seen that movie personally, although I can't really find a way to watch it. I would like to, but at the moment I haven't seen it. So, watching Godzilla Kong The New Empire, I'm going to really be honest with you. I personally didn't really enjoy this film. It's not bad, but I think this movie has moments that do work. But I think overall this movie felt very flat. Now, I'm going to give my two real compliments for this movie. I think the action and the visuals was probably the standout for me. Now, the action was uh, good, mostly around Godzilla's moments. But I really did feel Godzilla wasn't used as much as Kong. I think they kind of used Kong a little bit more in this film. And it kind of showed more of Kong with another tribe of apes, I guess, or Kong characters. I don't know what you would call them, essentially. But it kind of showed a lot of that... Uh, cinematic scenes with them pretty well it kind of had that remember kind of that sense of remaking the the planet of the apes films so i really thought that was actually pretty impressive uh, but the visuals were really really good so i think with the godzilla moments why the action could stood out mostly because of its visuals i like the way that when godzilla would beat up the enemies or the foes they would also absorb its energy and really create more of his powers especially around his breath and the lighting it was really really impressive i will also note the uh, the lighting was really eye straining to watch my god when you get to, to some of the bright scenes in this film probably the lighting pretty much would strain you more than literally glancing at the sun it was really really bright but it really did create for a good cinematic experience and the visuals were impressive pretty much 90% of the time but I also think with the action it does um, complement the visuals very well mostly around Godzilla but I wish with Kong they even though they had more scenes they didn't really show the action as well as they could have in from my perspective now as much as the compliments I would give this movie really falls flat in a lot of aspects so one of the biggest aspects I have for this film which I think is a big problem is the narrative it's pretty awful I don't really think things happen in this movie for any reason at all so really to kind of create the scene essentially I think this movie takes place after the events of Godzilla versus Kong so I think Kong is pretty much within the hollow earth and just trying to get around um, what goes on essentially and then the um, monarch which is literally like the organization that pretty much finds the disturbances between uh, Godzilla and Kong they kind of discover an anomaly that's not really right and then all of a sudden Godzilla comes around and Kong comes around and it really creates this sort of unseen sort of events that happen a lot of things when things happen with all these moments they don't really expand on it very well I also felt the way they developed the characters in this film as well were pretty, pretty boring. They didn't really develop their story very well, nor do they actually have an interesting um, development of how these characters come about and how their interactions and relationships happen in this movie. I mean, pretty much the dialogue between characters in this film was pretty much about as more useless as, you know, the monkeys making their noises. You could pretty much just equate to their voice acting as just monkey noises because they don't really expand the story or the narrative at all so i really think that movie falls short with its um its narrative and i really think that that's where my biggest problem lies because if really a lot of these uh scenes of events happen there's not really much expectations to know how the movie progresses how the story develops and what really happens for real reasons you know why um you know monarch goes into the hollow earth where kong is trying to discover what goes on they also have this other character as well is it's a deaf character I, I 
can't remember the name, but they use her in a way that's not really there for purpose. And she gets involved with this tribe. She kind of foreshadows events that back then happened as well. And everything just doesn't, ha everything feels really misplaced. And it was pretty much a hard, you know, a hard watch to sit through because you can't really make sense of really what's going on. Also, another point I also want to mention, although praising the action and the visuals, I really feel like they don't really let most of the moments when Godzilla and Kong are collaborating, collaborating with each other actually put the moments into this film. I think sometimes they do make them very short lived and they don't, and at some points they do create a little bit of an underwhelming factor. I kind of want to put that point out there. It's not, I'm not going to really kind of get into the spoilers of when, when and where this happens, but really throughout the majority of this film, you run time, you don't really see that happen. So overall rating Godzilla Kong, the new empire, I'm going to have to give this movie a five out of 10. It's a pretty underwhelming film from the perspective I've seen it. Um, I can't really be so sure like how, people received this film considering a lot of people were really hyped about it considering how amazing Godzilla minus one is although I haven't seen it I can't really speak about it but I know it received a lot of acclaim from a lot of people but I think for this film it, it falls short um, but let me know what you guys think of this movie and please like comment subscribe dislike if you want to dislike Thanks for watching and yeah, that's about it. See you later.